Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, jefflytics.com, and in this video, we're going to show you the tools of the trade that we use here at Jefflytics. And in this video, we're going to talk about a plugin that we use for WordPress to harvest reviews for our online courses. So listen up if you want to learn how we capture the reviews for ppccourse.com and analyticscourse.net. Let's talk about how we track and display reviews for our courses. We're talking about customer reviews. Now, if you're like everybody else that I know, you like reading reviews before you buy something, right? Especially online, you wanna hear from other people whether they like the product or not, whether it fit their needs, if there's any problems with what they bought, if they had any discomfort, or if it wasn't shipped properly, you read those reviews, right? Well, most online courses don't have reviews. And this has been frustrating for me because it's hard to tell if somebody actually likes the course or not unless you get into the course. And I think it's because everything is this big secret behind closed door thing that they do with online courses. Now, I wanna be more transparent with my courses, but at the same time, I wanna do what everybody else is doing and I needed to find a way to do this the right way. Can I add reviews and will that help me or will that hurt me? So I decided to add reviews to my PPC course and I actually did it about a year into running the course. So the first year there was no reviews, into the second year, I added reviews and I used the default functionality within WooCommerce. And they were hard to find and they were hard to customize. You couldn't find the review section and it was stuff like uncategorized. I had no control over where this was displayed on the page. I really didn't like this. And anytime that I wanted to update or change my template, I would have to basically modify all of WooCommerce. And if it upgraded, then bam, I'd lose it. And so I didn't really like this very much. The reviews themselves were displayed in chronological order from the oldest one to the most recent one. So that was annoying as well. And so I had it out there, but I didn't really like it very much. And frankly, most of my customers didn't review it. So I had 16 reviews after doing this for quite some time. And it was like pulling teeth. And actually I had to go in there and manually add the reviews from people who sent me a piece of praise saying, Hey, I love this. You know, can you add a review? Cause they were having troubles even adding the review. So it was complicated. It was painful. And for years I searched for something that I actually liked. And I finally found one, which is a good WordPress system called Reviewer. And this is a plugin for WordPress called Reviewer. You can look at it at jefflytics.com slash reviewer. And it actually looks pretty cool. So this is my new template for my product page. I have full customization over it because I'm not using the WooCommerce one. And I use a short code to display the ratings for the reviews. And then there's a link to read all customer reviews. And you can see here all the cool features that are on there. So it displays the most recent review first. You can change that if you'd like to. You can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It actually has titles in there. People are more inclined to put their picture in there so it looks good. I can verify the purchase. It just looks great. I don't have to do a lot of customization to the template. It just looks good. And I get people who are leaving these reviews and they're saying stuff like, this is the best course out there best money I've ever spent. These are real people leaving reviews. I don't have to coax them to do it. I don't have to beg them to do it. They're actually seeing the review functionality inside of our site and they're leaving reviews. And it makes me feel happy because I created a course that I'm very proud of and people are out there saying, this is the best course. This is the best money I've spent. So it makes me feel good to see this. And this reviews plugin has really helped us get there. We're collecting them and we're displaying them and it just works better than what I had previously. So I think that maybe I'm bucking the trend of not showing reviews for online courses as a result of using the reviewer plugin. So you should check it out for that reason alone. And if you listen on to the rest of this review, maybe you'll find some stuff you think is cool as well. So it is doing the trick for us. Here's how it works. First of all, we set up our global review template. This is happening within WordPress. We set up a global template. We say what our rating system is, whether or not we need to moderate it, all kinds of different information behind the way that we set up our system. We choose a template design. Now, most of the templates look pretty similar, but as you can see here, there is some variation between the templates. I chose the most simple one because I don't think we need anything too complex. And really, we're just doing one criteria. Either you like the course or you didn't. In the future, if I get ambitious, I might try to choose one of these other more complex review templates, but what we have right now is really doing the job for us. And then you set up a template for each major function, and we have a few different functions we use for our templates. Finally, you display a shortcode in your posts or your pages, or anywhere you wanna have this displayed, you put a shortcode in there. This is a WordPress functionality. You pop it right in there and it starts displaying right on your site. Now in each template you choose, you can set the scoring preference and your review criteria. You can choose what you wanna put in there. We actually just use a single criteria and it's a zero to five star criteria. And fortunately for us, all the reviews that have come in have been five star to this point. 
And it's probably because people like the course and also people are too nice to tell me if the course isn't good or meeting their expectations. But for the most part, we've had a very, very positive number of people who love the course. And, and really, there's only a handful of people who didn't like the course. And most of it's because they didn't have time to actually complete the course. So when we have negative comments, it's not that they didn't like the course. They just didn't have time to finish it. And you can turn on or off user options. So there are some configuration options within this plugin. Works pretty well from that perspective. You can customize your rating icons, whether you want orange stars or different colored stars, all kinds of different customization options in here. And really, I'd say the customization options are just enough. There's nothing that's really groundbreaking that we haven't implemented yet. And so it does just enough to show the reviews, which is really what you want in most technology. You want to have all the things that you need, all your needs met, and you want the plugin to do that well. So there's two major uses we have for this plugin. First of all, product reviews. And in our product reviews, we want several items to be covered. First of all, it has to work with Google rich snippets. So we want to make sure that Google can see the reviews that come in and those ratings are treated as ratings within Google search. And that can help our search results as people are looking for reviews of the course. We also, we want to be able to choose where to display it. So we can choose whether it goes on posts, pages, or even the courses and lessons within our online courses. We can also customize labels so that it uses the language that we use within our business, which is a really nice feature. I don't like tools that make you use their terminology. We can just customize the labels and no code is required. We just customize what we call things. And finally, it's easy for customers to leave reviews. Our number of customers leaving reviews has risen exponentially since we added this to our site. And we're really happy about that because we love getting the positive feedback from our customers. You can also use it for lesson feedback. And what you do here is you create a template and then we leave feedback about lessons at the bottom of our course. We do this within our agency course and this way we can hear from our students whether or not they like lessons, whether it needs to be updated or if there's something that's unclear here. And you can customize the language once again for the different courses you have. Now before we had this in place, we embedded a form using type form. I created some kind of custom function to display that on our site. It got a little bit messy, but it worked but it was really hard to look at the results. We wanted all the results in one spot. We wanted them within WordPress, and so we switched over to Reviewer, and it's definitely done a better job of fitting our needs. But primarily, we use this thing for doing the product reviews for our courses. So it's a good plugin, but it is complicated. I will tell you that. It is more developer-focused. I did have to click around in order to find things. It's not always intuitive. There's not a lot of great training and stuff like that on how this thing works. So here are my two major frustrations. First of all, you can't really migrate your old reviews into this tool. The only way you can do it is to create a JSON file, which is a structured data file that you need to upload to the plugin so you can import your reviews. And so it's taken us quite a bit of time to upload this JSON review file into our account. I, I did about 10 iterations of it, 10 tries at it before I finally got it to work. Basically, I had to manually scrape reviews from our other sites that we have out there, scrape reviews from third party, basically get all these different reviews together and then import them one by one. So in order to get the 30 or so reviews that we migrated over individually, one by one, lots of copying, lots of pasting. It took maybe 30 minutes to 60 minutes to get each review in there, which is really painful as part of the migration. And I'm guessing if we ever switch away from this plugin, we're going to, to do the same thing again. And that makes me cringe a little bit when I think about it. But overall, it just works, mostly. I'd say mostly, barely for our needs. It does the minimum we need. And it's the best for our needs right now. It fits into our website. We don't have to have third-party software. It's all in WordPress. We can use short codes. All kinds of good stuff happening there that we like it. It's good enough for us for our needs right now. So if you're interested in trying the reviewer plugin, I would recommend that you visit jefflytics.com slash reviewer, and you can find where this plugin is. You can download it, play around with it, and see if it works for you as well. And while you're at it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'd love to hear from you, and you can get more tools of the trade and behind-the-scenes views as to what's happening here at jefflytics.com. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.